experiment that has been done here is to simulate a railway track. What we are testing here is a novel way of stabilizing the foundation of the railway track. And so extending the period, possibly by a significant margin, between maintenance interventions. So we've, we've simulated uh, 400,000 load applications from unrealistic load applications from a railway axle. Then the stabilization treatment was done and then a further 400,000 was done after that. So we can make a reasonable comparison, we can make quite an informed judgment as to what improvement has taken place once the stabilization was done. This is a geopolymer, it's a, an expansive material, so it's injected into the clay at a given depth, in this case about 300 millimeters below the surface of the clay, and it's under pressure, it works its way wherever there's a weakness, which normally is horizontally through the clay, sometimes a bit of vertical as well. As the chemical reaction takes place, it, this, this geopolymer forms a very, it expands for one thing, and it expands into a very tough, resilient material and it adds something that the clay doesn't have. The clay can shear very easily. Once we put this geopolymer lens or several series of lenses sometimes within the clay, it stops the shear planes developing a little bit like the reinforcement that you put into concrete to give it some tensile strength which it wouldn't otherwise have had. Today we've been excavating the clay test pit and so what we're interested to find out today is the nature of the actual fracturing of the clay that the geopolymer does to strengthen it. So geopolymer, work, geopolymer works by strengthening the clay through fracturing and migration of geopolymer along the fractures. The geopolymer expands and hardens into a rock-like material such as this, which shows very, very strong material embedded in the clay. So today we're trying to excavate that material for subsequent laboratory testing. What we've found from these 400,000 load applications before and after putting the, the, the geopolymer in it is that the settlement rate afterwards was dramatically reduced. And the analysis suggests that the clay itself is actually becoming about 10 times, even more than 10 times, as resistant to deformation compared to what it was before. The, the results were, are pretty much as we expected. The, um, the geopolymer created horizontal fractures through the soft clay material, which are up to 15 millimetres thick, and we measured a maximum radius of 1.25 metres, so quite a large fracture zone, in which was filled full of hardened geopolymer. It's very interesting to see the material itself and the way that it works, and it's quite, it's quite an eye-opener, and if I think about my background as a road engineer as well, it's quite obvious to see how this material can be used both on the road and the rail to do an excellent job in either changing the levels and stabilizing ground at the same time.